ένας χαρίς η ζωή Είναι δώρο απ' αυτό Έτσι το καθήκο σας είναι Να γίνετε μάρτυρες γι' αυτό is a small village located on the island of Thera, Santorini, Kiklades Islands, Greece. Since the local government reform in 2011, this village is part of the municipality of Santorini. The main street in this village is called Nikolo Namiku. Based on the 2011 census, the population was recorded at 1,545 people and an area of 19,449 square kilometers. OIA was formerly known as a Panomeria, Alpha Pi Nu Omega Mu Epsilon Rho Iota or Epsilon Pi Nu Omega Mu Epsilon Rho Iota, Upper Side, and its inhabitants are still called Apanomerites, Alpha Pi Alpha Nu Omega Mu Epsilon Rho Tau Epsilon. OIA reached its heyday in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Its economy prospered thanks to its merchant fleet in the East Mediterranean Sea. The two-story captain's house at the highest point of the village is a landmark building that symbolizes this heyday. However, part of this village was destroyed by an earthquake in 1956. Today, OIA is a popular tourist destination and is flooded with visitors who want to enjoy the sunset in the evening. OIA is one of the most iconic villages in the world. Previously it was known as a Panomeria, and its inhabitants until recently were called a Panomerites. This village is closely related to Greek maritime history. Because of its strategic port, OIA became one of the most popular and successful shipping destinations from the 19th to 20th centuries. So we can assume that most of the population are sailors. Then how did you get the shape of the houses that are so unique? In ancient Greece, only the elite could build a house on a hilltop. So these sailors built their houses very close to the sea. The problem that arises is that there are only steep cliffs near the sea. So these sailors started drilling holes in the cliffs. Instead of building houses, they formed houses from existing cliffs. At first glance, if we look at the houses in OIA, where there are gaps so that the structure between one house and another looks asymmetrical. However, if we look closely, with time and changes in the weather, these houses merge with each other. The result is a neat structure, the boundaries between one house and another are clearly visible, but it still looks random at a certain height. This is what makes OIA a unique and popular architecture throughout the world. To Santorini, Greece you have to go to OIA village. Here the sunset is charming and the scenery is very beautiful. Visiting Santorini in Greece, you will definitely never forget its most beautiful icon, namely the blue church, the blue dome, and a beautiful sunset with a caldera background like a painting. Where is the church and the spectacular scenery located? The village of OIA or IA, red as Aia, is a small village located in the northwest of the island of Santorini. The village of OIA on Santorini Island has become a tourist attraction, because it is very famous for its various beautiful photo spots decorated with a beautiful caldera, as well as rows of restaurants and terrace villas. I. This village can be reached using a local bus with a journey of about 20 minutes from the Fira Village bus terminal, the center of the village on the island of Santorini. OIA is often used as a honeymoon location for newly married couples, or as a hunted location for photographers to explore the beauty of nature through their shots. However, this very romantic village location can turn out to be uncomfortable if you visit during the tourist season from June to September. To get the real beauty of OIA Village, it is recommended to come in April and May. In this not too busy season, the air is cool and there is a high chance that you will be able to witness the dim sunset of OIA which is indeed very beautiful. 
If you travel to OIA by bus, then we will arrive at the village square, main square, marked by a white building on the, the center is named Panagia of Platsani Church. In front of this small church, the caldera is clearly visible stretching across the Aegean Sea. On the right and left of the village square, there are paths that tend to go up and down with steps. If you turn left from the village square, then you will walk through classy villas and hotels, interspersed with various restaurants lined up offering spectacular views. If you turn right from the village square, then you will meet various souvenir shops, cafes, clothing stores and various galleries. So, on this path, we will meet the alleys where tourists usually take their current photos. There are several locations that are always hunted by beautiful photo lovers and photographers in OIA. First, the Blue Dome, a blue dome church with bells. Second, what is iconic is the OIA sunset, which can be seen in the north of the village. Even though sometimes the location for viewing the sunset is very crowded with tourists, it really pays off with the beauty of the orange color that glows in the dark, like a very enchanting natural painting. Third, the view of the caldera studded with night lights is like a dream come true, so beautiful. Fourth, several galleries and restaurants can also be unique photo spots for those of you who like to capture every moment because of their unusual interior and layout, accompanied by alleys, hallways or cute decorations that are hard to find on other islands. Every corner of the village of OIA really presents unforgettable memories and makes you always want to come back again. That's what brought me two days in a row to come to this village. To reach Santorini Island, you must first fly to Athens in Greece, then take a fast ferry or domestic flight. But believe me, all that effort really pays off with the experience you get in this village.